And we welcome now News Nation travel editor Peter Greenberg. Uh, Peter, good morning. Great to have you. You know, I was watching, you were talking with Marky earlier this week, and you had mentioned this investigation overall. It really hinges on what Boeing knew, when, what the company did with that information at the time. Uh, do you think we'll glean any further insight today to help put the pieces of that puzzle together? I think we will, because remember, this engineer is questioning the structural integrity of the plane, not just based on the manufacturing and the inspection, but on the materials themselves. Remember, the Boeing 787 was the first commercial airplane built mostly of composite materials. So how are they tested? How are they inspected? And then, of course, who did the inspection? It's the same issue that we had, more or less, with the Boeing 737 MAX, and now probably the investigation will also look at the 777 models as well. So it gets back to that culture safety at Boeing, their relationship with the FAA. And of course, if these allegations are true, they, ha they have to be investigated. But remember, there's an ongoing criminal investigation launched by the U.S. Department of Justice on Boeing. And of course, as you just said, when did Boeing know this? If it's true, and then who knew it? And then what did they do about it? Right. So for all of us watching, uh, travelers as well, you know, this is all concerning. You had mentioned you don't think Boeing would be put on pause pending the outcome of this investigation. So I think that really begs the question, what kind of timeline are we looking at here for an outcome? What advice would you offer travelers in the meantime? Well, remember, what this engineer is questioning is not an immediate problem. He's talking about the lifetime of the airplane in terms of its structural integrity over a number of cycles. A cycle is a takeoff and a landing. So we're talking about fatigue issues that will not basically make themselves readily apparent for many years to come. But still, the issue needs to be addressed now. I'll be Right after I talk to you this morning, I'll be flying. And I'll be flying on a Boeing plane tomorrow and another one on Friday. So it's not stopping me from flying, but the concerns that are raised have to be dealt with. And of course, this is just the beginning salvo today at Capitol Hill. Well, actions do speak loudly, as we all know. Uh, Peter, can you take us behind the scenes for a moment? You know, how is Boeing continuing production after the FAA grounded their MAX 9 jets, shut down their assembly line earlier this year? Well, you just asked the, the rhetorical question, how can you continue production if your assembly line isn't moving? Your assembly line isn't moving because the FAA finally stepped up to the plate and said, we need to inspect the planes. We're not delegating it to employees of Boeing. The problem is the FAA doesn't have the inspectors to do it. So until they can hire and train independent inspectors with the, with the expertise to do the inspections, the Boeing assembly line is just basically crawling. Wow. All right. Really interesting insight. Always great to have you, Peter. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.